Close Conor McGregor faces 20 misdemeanor counts and two felony charges, which could include up to 11 years in prison. USA Today Sports Conor McGregor is unlikely to face jail time, former New York prosecutors said. Photo For Halgestom USA Today Sports Conor McGregor could face an upgraded felony charge of recklessness that increases the chance of his serving jail time and jeopardizes his ability to fight in the United States. Or he could avoid any criminal charge with a good plea deal. That was the range of possibilities presented by three former New York prosecutors who are criminal defense attorneys and spoke to USA Today Sports about the UFC's star's legal trouble. Julie Rendleman, a former prosecutor in Brooklyn, where McGregor was charged after attacking a bus at a UFC media event Thursday, noted that people sustained injuries during the incident. That's the bigger issue to me, she said. If he used a weapon to injure one of the people in the face, that potentially could be upgraded to a felony. McGregor, the mixed martial arts fighter, faces two felony charges for criminal mischief and ten misdemeanors. He could face up to 11 years in prison for the two felonies, according to New York sentencing guidelines. But all three former prosecutors said it is unlikely McGregor will serve significant, if any, jail time. I can see him serving time, Rendleman said. But people do crimes in Brooklyn, in any jurisdiction in New York or anywhere that are potentially worse than this and they get deals that allow them to not go to jail. Two other former New York prosecutors said they think McGregor will strike a plea deal that reduces the charges to a single misdemeanor and possibly results in no conviction. More on McGregor. Bail. McGregor faces two felonies. Bail set at $50. Oh, 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 no remorse. Dana White. McGregor showed no remorse. But for his celebrity status, it's just a run-of-the-mill case said William Caffart, a former prosecutor in Long Island. People get into arguments and things get broken. Fists are flying more times than not. I would think given the fact that assault charges are misdemeanors and the most serious charges, criminal mischief, it's unlikely he would face jail time. Stephen Razor, another former New York prosecutor, said the charges are generally not too serious. The good news for McGregor is that the most serious charge is the property damage charge. He said by email, with no prior criminal history this will be reduced as part of a plea. The district attorney's office has six months to indict McGregor and present the case to a grand jury it before the case could potentially be dismissed. Rendleman said, McGregor's next scheduled court date is June 14. Before then, the former prosecutors say, McGregor's attorney is expected to initiate talks with the district attorney's office. A key focus will be McGregor's immigration status because any conviction could restrict the fighter's ability to travel in the United States, said the former prosecutors, who noted McGregor's defense attorney likely will be working with an immigration attorney. Rendleman said the district attorney's office in Brooklyn generally is sensitive to immigration issues. But she also said, keep in mind, no one likes someone coming to Brooklyn and doing something that kind of damages the community. So that's also something they're going to take into consideration because there is some level of disrespect for him doing what he did and it was dangerous on top of everything. Razor said McGregor's celebrity status could work in the fighter's favor, because he is a high-profile athlete. There is a lot of good he can do with the youth. Razor said, if the DA is smart they'll work out a deal which will involve him giving back to the community.